Box servers are very popular nowadays. But have you ever wanted to own one yourself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own box server from scratch. And later in this video, I'm gonna explain how you can actually win this box server that I make in this video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a server, find a host for our server, and I'm using Minehut. So when you are on the Minehut website, all you gotta do is just click sign up. Obviously, I already have an account, um, so I'll just log into mine. And once you're logging in, so you, all you gotta do is go to my servers and click create server. And now we wanna specify a name. What should the name be? Something crazy, you know? Something, uh, something with box. Box um, fans box. Does that, does that work? Maybe it works. You can choose a different type of server, but I will just go with paper. And so now that we've created a server, we're just waiting for it to start. And while we're waiting for that, I will show you what kind of plugins that I want. All right, and the most essential plugins for a box server that I've decided are, all right, get your block out, get your little notepad out, is item edit for editing items, of course. We've got mine reset light for the, the mines, of course. We've got shopkeepers, script, obviously script is the big one and world edit and world guard and uh, yeah of course i'll leave all the links in the description and uh, i'll show you now how to download one of these all right downloading plugins is probably easier than you think so i've got the links in the description to the plugins so all you got to do is just click one of those or click all of them download them and upload them to your minehut so once you're on minehut you just go to the plugins folder upload the file and restart the server that's pretty much all one thing you got to keep in mind is make sure to download the right version of the plugin that corresponds with your version of Minecraft on your server. And there we go. It should all be there. All you gotta do is just restart the server. All right, so let's build the map, okay? We, we're gonna make a square, pretty much. That's what a box server is, you know, like a box. So <laughs> I'm using world edit for this. I'm just gonna grab my wand and I'm just gonna, mm, we can do right here. And then to here. So what I like to do is I like to mix a few blocks in here, right? So we could do green wool and green concrete. And let's see how that looks. That looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. So we're gonna make some walls. I'm just gonna select this one. And we fly all the way over here. You build up as high as you want it to be, right? Mine should be pretty tall because I don't want people to see the outside world, right? And let's make it, make sure to do walls this time. Let's make it blue, mm, light blue actually. A light blue wall and then light blue concrete maybe. Light blue concrete. And let's see how that looks. Mm, that's, that's okay, that's okay, that's fine. You can mix whatever blocks you really want, right? You can mix some concrete powder in instead to make it a bit brighter. Uh, that looks pretty pretty decent and you're gonna finish off with guess what a barrier roof because people out there be hacking and they be escaping our little project here our little experiment right so um so we put some barriers now I'm gonna build a tiny little spawn and then I'll get back to you okay all right this is what we got look look tiny little spawn with a little platform. All right, you've all been waiting for me to explain how you can win this server. Well, I'm gonna tell you. All you gotta do is subscribe and join the giveaway on my Discord. And the winner of the giveaway will be drawn once I've posted the last part of this series. Listen, I know it's a lot to ask, but I feel like this is kind of a big giveaway. I'm not gonna lie. All right, back to the video. All right, so what type of mine should we make? I feel like I feel like a Pokemon themed server would be cool. So the first one should probably be wood, right? Pokemon wood. What is that? A woody. A pseudo wudo. That that should be the first Amo said. It should be pseudo wudo. All right, so basically what you're gonna do on this server, I want the first mine to kind of have a PVP safe zone, right? So I'm gonna make a little area here. 
And so inside this, it's kind of a PvP safe zone, right? It's a, the same as in spawn. Then we want the mine. And the mine should be wood. So I mark the area with world god and then I use the mine reset light uh, command. You can just do slash MRL to see all the commands, but I'm just gonna go through it. So create and we're gonna call it wood. So now wood has been saved. Um, I do already have a mine reset light tutorial so you can go watch that if you want okay so we're gonna set wood and then we're gonna do wood and it's gonna be 90 percent oh it's of course not wood it's oak log so then we have 10 percent left that 10 percent should be what like stripped oak log 10 percent so if we do reset wood, the mine looks like this, right? So it has some stripped oak logs, which we're going to make more expensive, right? So you can get a little boost from mining those. That is very basic. It's what every box mine has pretty much. Okay, so um, I want to do a flag wood and then oh, wood and then silent true. Is that how you do it? Yes. So now it resets silent, silently, so it doesn't say in chat when it resets. And we're going to do reset delay. I'm not sure if that that is, yes, reset delay. So it resets every minute. And we do reset percent. And should it be like 10? When there's 1% blocks left, 10%. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now it resets when there's only 10% blocks left. Also, one thing. I forgot to mention is that you might want to make it bedrock underneath here just because um just because it's just it's kind of annoying when there's not bedrock on, underneath especially if you're an opt person that's allowed to break blocks you easily break those blocks by accident when you're mining so making those bedrock is just a good idea all right so now i've kind of laid out all the different mines See, I know a lot about the Pokemons themselves, but I don't know a lot about like the Pokemon game and like all the items and stuff. Oh, wait, there's like ground and, and water and grass and all those. Yes, 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 we're getting somewhere. Pokemon types. Let's see, there's definitely enough types to cover all the mines. All right, now I made all the mines. Look at how many there are. And I also made a little, a little secret one up here. No, I don't tell anybody though. All right, so first things first is you wanna make people able to break in here. So you can do this with World God. You can do RG info to show what area you're in right now. And I'm in global, which is the global area for the whole world, right? So if I just do RG flag global block place deny and also block break deny one thing i also want to do is i want to allow pvp and that's pretty much all for the global area now the next thing here is i want to mark the mine i want to make a region so this one was wood so rg define wood and we're gonna do rg flag wood as we did with the global block break but this time we're gonna do allow instead so now you can break and you just want to do the same with each of the mines you want to make a new area for each one and make breaking allowed right however here in the wood area and in spawn i also want to make an area outside of here which is not going to have pvp enabled right so now i've selected outside the mine here but we've got a little problem if someone is standing on top of the mine right uh, pvp would still be on because the area only covers like the mine you know so to get by that you can do slash slash expand vert which means that the region we have selected has basically been converted or expanded rather to um, all the way to the sky and all the way to bedrock right that's basically it so now i can do rg define 
wood, I don't know, we call it PVP. And then we do RG flag wood PVP PVP allow. And the reason I didn't just make one area with just break and PVP is because if I did that and I had expanded the vert, you could actually break these blocks as well. So, oh my God, I just realized I made a huge mistake. It was supposed to be PVP deny and the wood PVP, oh my God. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that for the rest of the <laughs> rest of the mines. Oh God, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. So next up, we gotta make the items, right? And um, I'm gonna make him Pokemon, you know, Pokemon. So I'm using the shopkeepers. So if we do shopkeeper, it spawns a little villager and you can click on him and put stuff in him. You know, pretty basic. I'm gonna do a few. Um, if you played, one of these servers before you know that there's like compressed and stuff like that so all you gotta really do is crouch and you can like enter in here and maybe you want this one to be worth four so now you can trade uh now you can trade this to four oak right pretty simple pretty simple also want to do a compressed and i do that with item edit which is also a plugin that i showed you and um we can just rename it and we can rename it to what? Like compressed oak log, whatever. Now it says compressed oak log. You can make it glow. And now it's like glowing, but it has no enchants and stuff like that. And then you can put it into the villager and make it cost a stack. And that's how you get compressed, right? Now here, we want to make the ax. I feel like an ax is going to be pretty useful on the wood. So all I really want to do is I want to make it unbreakable so it doesn't break obviously um, but I actually want to hide hide that so you can't see that it's actually unbreakable also I want to rename it um, what should it be called pseudo wudo X <laughs> I feel like just like this pseudo wudo X <laughs> Okay, so that's just an, a basic axe, right? All right, so my main thing is I wanna actually change this. Um, the attribute add, and we're gonna do attack damage. And it's gonna be something like, what is it? What is it on a wooden? It's gonna be two. Two, add number, hand. So now it's just two, because I want players to prefer the, the sword instead of the axe, right? All right, all right, all right. Pause the video. It's getting late boys and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this video up into multiple parts. So if you want to see the next parts, make sure to hit that like button because uh, otherwise I, I won't upload it and you you guys will just don't know what to do. So um, that's that's your loss, you know. All right, bye.